Hello, hello, hello. It's Knits for Sanity and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before and you're thinking this looks very, very familiar to me, you're right. It does. If this is your first time, exciting news. It's all brand new to you. <laughs> in all seriousness, if this is your first time visiting, thank you so much for stopping in and I hope you stick around. And if you've been here many times before and are wondering what is going on, uh, the short answer is it's the follow-up to the follow-up. <laughs> I, I, uh, I made a mistake and thank you to a, a, a wonderful one of you who and pointed it out to me and asked me about it. And I went, oh my word. You're right. I did do that. Okay, so to be fair, when I completed the two flowers from the Timu floral kit, it was late. I was tired. Keep in mind, I, I, I am a middle-aged mom of four very busy children. I don't have many brain cells left. Um, it was a comparison between the Paint Gem Floral Kit and then this, uh, I'm calling it the off-brand Timu Floral Kit. And so this is now video number three that is comparing these two kits. And in video two, I showed what I thought were completed versions of the Lilac. No, not the Lilac. The Lavender. <laughs> the lavender from each kit and the roses from each kit. However, I did not actually do the rose in this kit. This is the rose from this kit. This is the peony <laughs> from this kit. So this is the peony. It is not the rose. I will get the peony for you from the paint gem kit and they'll take back out the rose painting from the paint gem kit and we'll do another quick little look so here's the paint gem rose and here is the paint gem peony all right now to my credit though to my credit when these were unfinished the designs looked very, very similar. Very, very similar. And you can kind of see that now with them completed, how very possibly I could get very confused. Please tell me anyway, that you definitely see the similarity. You know, it's a very similar shape and structure. Um, so this is not the rose. This is meant to be the peony. I'm not sure which way. I don't, I think this way, this is right. It goes this way. Okay. And this one, no, and this one goes this way. Okay. So here we go. We are going to do a quick little side by side again of another flower and the correct flower. So here is no, this way. This is the Paint Gem Peony, and this is the Timu Off-Brand Peony. So, you know, look at these for a minute, and I'll hold them up here a little bit too. So, again, I don't know. It's hard to see with the camera, but the Paint Gem, because it is the resin drills, there is definitely a little bit more sparkle and sheen to it. But the acrylic also still look great. And I think, you know, I think you can see that. The acrylic drills still look really, really lovely. Um, this one I've already talked about the fit on the canvas and how the drills don't fit as well. There is some definite gapping with these drills and some significant gapping with these drills too in a couple of places. Not something that you can see trying to get you really close here. I don't know how well you can see some of this. Like there's, that's a lot of substantial gapping. I mean, um, it's not something that you can see from a distance though. Like I think now looking at it, I don't think that you can look at this peony and say, oh wow, that's a lot of gapping. 
We talked about last time too, how this one does have a lot of extra pour over glue and these need to be sealed. The paint gym kits really don't. In fact, maybe a little bit down here and a little bit down here. But otherwise, this peony, I you wouldn't have to seal this. I, I feel like this wouldn't need to be sealed because the glue is so precise. And the drills just fit perfectly. Just perfectly on the paint gym kit. The colors between these two flowers are quite different. And that's part of the reason, too, why I selected this one as the rose. As I remembered seeing orange when I was doing the initial unboxing, I remembered seeing that there was orange present in the rose. So when I saw this one and it, you know, had kind of a rose shape and it was using orange, I thought, oh, this is the rose. Um, it's not. It's the peony. So here are the peonies next to one another. Um, you know, let me know, do you prefer one over the other? Again, if I'm being completely honest, the Paint Gem Peony, it just offers a depth that the Timu one does not. Um, Paint Gem, they, they know how to chart, they know how to place colors, they know how to give you that dimensional look in a way that most companies don't, unless you have hired staff to do that. But I say that while also still having to acknowledge that this is still a beautiful flower. And like I say, the, the price point difference is substantial. So given how much I didn't pay for this one, I think it looks great. So here is the peony. Now we will actually compare rose to rose. <laughs> So after I realized my mistake, and thank you so much for the person who pointed that out to me. <laughs> oh, that was very humiliating, but I, I do appreciate it. Um, I am not, I'm not above being able to say that <laughs> I was wrong. Um, this is the Timu off-brand rose next to the Paint Gem Rose, which, you know, you've seen the Paint Gem Rose just the other day. But now we are looking at the Timu Rose. Again, all of the same things come to play here. This rose, it looks like a rose. It is definitely identifiable as a rose, particularly because it turns out it is mostly red. There's, there is not a lot of orange in here. I just happened to see that orange drill when I was unboxing. Um... But it is, it is actually a red rose. And I do appreciate they, they, you know, they do attempt to offer a little bit of dimension to this rose. I mean, roses are known for that kind of tight circular format that just blossoms out. And you do see that in here a little bit. You do have that present in this rose. Is it the same as the paint gym one? I don't think so. Again, just the shading that is done over here, the color work that is present in the paint gem just makes this rose just spectacular. This one, there's, it looks like a rose. It looks a little bit three-dimensional versus this one looks more like a flat rose, um, but still looks good. Um, I feel like for what you are getting in both kits, both of them very adequately meet my expectations. Paint Gem is definitely more of your luxury type brand. You have your resin drills. You have carefully charted images. You have you just you have a you have a quality here these these drills aren't just resin but they are very well cut resin drills but you pay for that this is considerably more expensive this one you have acrylic drills that are not as uniform in shape you have however still a lovely canvas to work on uh you have drills that don't 
because they're not equally shaped, they don't fit the canvas as nicely. But you can't see that up close. I mean, other way around. You can't see that from a distance. See, I'm struggling again tonight too, aren't I? <laughs> um, so yeah, up close, I can totally see. We got, there's a lot of kind of weird gapping in here. Again, I'll, it's hard to show it here, but there is, there is definitely gapping present. The jewels just don't line up quite as nice. But from a distance, can you see that? Probably not. You do have a lot of the extra glue poured over on the edges here. So it does require sealing. The color and dimension isn't as good, but it's not bad. And for what you pay for this type of a cat, I have no complaints. So at the very end of the day, at least for this comparison, which I think this will be the last time that I will be comparing the Paint Gem versus the Timu, I think, direct comparison between these two. Um, and again, let me know your thoughts. Now that you're actually looking at the rows side by side, and now you've actually seen, oh, the Paint Gem Peony and the Timu Peony. <laughs> Let me know what you think again. Has your opinion changed now that I'm actually comparing the right flower with one another? <laughs> but this probably will not be my last in this series of comparing these many floral painting kits. Because just today, Diamond Art Club announced that they are releasing their own mini paint kits. And two of those include flowers. And just looking at it briefly, it looks to be pretty much all the same flowers again as what you have in Paint Gem, as well as the Timu. The difference, though, is Diamond Art Club is just doing sets of six. So you need to buy like two sets in order to get the 12 flowers. Um, by the time this is released, that set may actually already be available. And uh, someone's already asked me about it and provided that it is something that I can work out with the budget. You know, we don't know how much it costs yet. Yes, I will definitely be getting certainly like the classic floral floral set because that one I know for a fact does have the rose and I think it also has the lavender. Um, but again, I don't, I can't remember for sure. I just saw it so, so briefly earlier today. So actually this series is probably not actually done yet. <laughs> there probably will be another comparison video coming up. But until then, let me know what you think now. Uh, I have heard from several of you who are excited. You've gotten several of these Timu kits. Let me know what your experience is when you get them. Let me know which ones you're receiving. And I'll be honest, I have another one sitting in my cart. Because, again, for the price, I like these enough. So, yeah, let me, let me know your additional thoughts. Otherwise, that is it for this short little video. My apologies about the mistake in the last one. Uh, I guess that slides right into, you know, please be kind. Show a little extra kindness and patience because you never know when you're dealing with a middle-aged woman who is losing all of her brain cells and is forgetting things. <laughs> and, you know, it could be me. You could be dealing with me. Um, but in all sincerity, do be kind. A little bit of extra patience and kindness can go a very, very long way. And I hope that people are the same for you. And I hope that you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you again real soon.